Hello, C Sharp learners. Uh, some of you have requested that what I did last week in the lecture, I should be able to put that into a video so they can watch again. Okay, the first thing I want to tell you, there are those 20 or 22 Microsoft videos. While they do complete job on C Sharp, download those. If you're really serious about C Sharp, those are the one that will teach you more than any textbook me or anybody else can teach. But certainly I'm willing to help out. So uh, we did basically last week that how to use buttons, labels, and text boxes uh, in the C Sharp application. And I'm just going to show you that today in this video. Text boxes can be used for input and output both. Labels generally are used as inert, like they tell you what's going on. Uh, they label things, but you could use them sometime for output, although I don't do that very often. So let's start. Visual Studio, new project, uh, Windows Form application, I'll leave that at default place and I'll just call it uh, GUI 1. Oh, actually, I could be more descriptive, I suppose. Uh, I'll call it GUI button labels and text boxes. All right more descriptive. Okay. <clears throat> so it's going to build uh, a form and we should be able to see that form. It's a little slow. I'm using the express edition but you can use any edition, doesn't really matter. So it's going to create this form and I'm going to make the form a little bit bigger and don't want to keep this form property, uh, the name property of the form or the text because it's not very descriptive. So I'm going to get student data, so I'm just going to put that in here, in the text property, student data form. Okay? And Notice this form wall will be replaced by this text I just typed as soon as I enter, finish, and type the enter key. Okay, and that's there. So the purpose of this form is to collect a student's name, age, and GPA, and just print that into a results text box. So we locate the toolbox, which is right here, and we're going to need three labels. So I'm just going to take the label, drag and drop that here. And it's very important that you create uh, each component with the fonts that you want, background, foreground, and then make copies of that so they all look alike. Okay? And generally, it's people do that. Is that A to Z? That sometimes they change the text uh, name property for the labels, but I'm not going to do that. So, but I will change the text property. The text property is since they're going to be typing their name, so I put the name here. But the font is kind of small, so I'm going to make font a little bit bigger. So for that, I'm just going to go up and change the font property. I'll start with that right here. So make it a little bigger, bold, and let's make it 12. You can see it clearly, and that's clear enough now. Okay, now I'm going to need three of these. So I make a copy of using Control C, or you can go to Edit and Copy. Uh, that'll work too. So I got second label, but of course I need to change its 
uh, text property so over here and I'm working without a mouse actually so I'm gonna be a little slow so second one was age okay an age will be integer type I we can tell that to students somewhere maybe through a tooltip or something that they should enter a whole number most people don't want to use decimal points when they give their age just not the society doesn't do that and then third is the okay or the GPA okay so this and I'm just going to change text for GPA a and that's that same thing we're going to do with the three text boxes so I'm just gonna go to my toolbox and locate the text box drag and drop that here and you can make it a little bigger if you like you want to make the all of them the same size more or less and I'm just gonna make three copies of that so this is where they will enter name this is where they will enter age and this is where they will enter GPA if you don't do anything with this arrow here it'll stay a single line text box we do need to change their name property because we will be using them in the code don't want to text box one I want a txt uh, name because they're gonna be entering the name in there easier to recognize same thing here txt age that will be an integer type I will need that information later and txt GPA not the text box three but I want to change it to txt GPA and renaming them like this helps me to recognize when I write the code which one is which okay finally I'm gonna have a results window here and I'm gonna need one more label by the way so okay so control C I can just copy that control V here I'm gonna display the results but it'll be a big text box with the scrolling results so I want to make it multi-line once you do that you can actually increase the width and the height not a problem there you can make it as big as you like it should be big enough that one horizontal line fits exactly okay. and if you really need big then you'll have to increase the size of your width of the form and this will be called txt result and as I said I do need this vertical scroll bar here so I'm gonna go here and there should be a scroll bar and I'm just gonna make that vertical do not do horizontal it's a nightmare okay and I said I'll need a label so I'm gonna copy control V and just change the text property in this one to say that this is the results uh, one more thing I can do is I don't want somebody to be able to type in there I thought there was an editable property here but it's not I guess I'm not gonna worry about it then you could make it in in a way that nobody can type anything in there uh, but that may have to be done through the code I don't see a property which makes it non editable so I'm not gonna worry about that for right now okay now we need two buttons one two that 
user will enter name, age, and GPA, and when they press button, it shows up here, and one to clear all the fields. So, same technique, drag and drop button here. Uh, change its name, property, uh, btn, process, because it's going to process the data, and change the name property, or the text property as we call it. And that will be right here. Something like record data. And since it's two words, we're going to have to change the size. If you want to change the font, go to the font property, starts with F. Change it to so ten bold. Okay, and if you want the name in one line, then again this way. And if you want reset, so all the fields are reset. I copied that and I paste that. Change the text property to reset. set and there you go so we got all the widgets and components on the form now we need to give the intelligence intelligence is given using the code in this form here so I'm gonna type the code up front because I'm kind of nearing end of this video I have three more minutes and just explain the code to you in three minutes okay Okay, so here, yeah, sorry, I thought it was C-sharp, but it's actually VB. So here's the process of getting the data from the text boxes. We declare a variable called dim name, and since that's a string, txt name was a text box dot text property gets us right then and there. Age has to be parsed, because it's an integer, so I say integer dot parse. Text property of the txt age text box, and then parsed age will be stored inside the age variable. GPA is also a number, so it has to be parsed, so double dot parse, and we do txt GPA was the text box name, dot text property. Once we got these three, we can append to the txt result, and we do this append method. In VB, uh, and is used for concatenation, so this is string as is, and the name variable that we just got here. Environment.newline gives you a new line, basically. And we concatenate age and GPA at the same time. I'm going to do the reset button now. And we just go back to the design view, double click on the reset. And the code to fill out the reset also shows up. And I have a minute and a half. So let me just do that code, come back and explain that to you also, actually. Okay, for the reset button, we just set the age, text property of age, GPA, name, and results boxes to zero length string. That's all we have to do. So let's run this program now, and we'll show you the last part of it. And so let's say name is John Doe, age is 23, GPA is 3.4. If I press here, it will record the data. And since I appended it, if I had another student, let's say Mary Doe, and I'm just going to change only one thing, not change the age and GPA, that Mary Doe's data is also there. If I had more student, I'll get the scroll bar. I can go up and down. So I got them all there. And if I wanted to delete everything, clear up all the data, then I can hit the reset okay so that's how we can use labels text boxes and buttons and the display text box in visual uh, basic windows application thank you see you soon in other videos